uh, Ray, we'd start with a little bit. Why did, why did you go into finance? Uh, I caddied in the uh, 1960s when I was 12. I caddied at a, at a golf course, and um, I, everybody was talking about the stock market then. It, it was it was the stock market had gone up for a long, long time, and if you were to get a haircut or anything, you would always be talking about stocks. And so um, I took my caddying money. Uh, I earned uh, $6 a bag, and, I, and so I'd get $12 a round, and I took my caddying money, and I put it in the stock market. Um, I mean, I was curious, and uh, the first, I remember the first stock I bought was a company by the name of Northeast Airlines. And the only reason I bought it is because it was selling for less than $5 a share. And I figured I could buy more shares so I'd make more money if it went up. That was my brilliant theory. Of course, it was dumb. But uh, I, um, it was a company that was about to go bankrupt. Somebody acquired it. It tripled. And I was hooked. So I got hooked on the markets at that time. I uh, was trading in the debt of Northeast Airlines at that time. And really? <coughs> and really? But, uh, How cool. And uh, we were debating shorting the stock uh, versus <laughs> our long position. The debt was selling at a substantial discount. And I think the time that Ray's talking about, if you ever want to check an archive, there was a book published, Happiness uh, is a Stock That Doubles in a Year. And this was a a period of time where if you couldn't make 50 or 100 percent of your money, you really weren't doing a good job. And it looked at the American Stock Exchange and all the stocks that doubled during this period of time in a year. And it, it basically concluded you should be focused on very low-priced stocks. So that book uh, symbolized that issue.